Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions to Environment Channel. We are your solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to reclassify the same digital elevation model, right? But now, so let's look at a few notes. Now, from these notes, um, we have that um, reclassifying the raster involves changing the values of the cells in the raster based on a specified criteria or maybe set of rules, right? Good changing the values of the cells in the raster based on what a specified criteria or set of rules so now we have a digital elevation model here we have a digital elevation model here that has what um, elevation values ranging from 174 meters to 1213 meters right good so we are going to reclassify the values of the raster cells in this um, digital elevation model based on the criteria and the criteria will be to have um, maybe high, mid, and low, right? Good. So now let's um, still scroll through our notes. So reclassifying the raster is often necessary to simplify or refine the data for specific analytical or visualization purposes, right? Good. Um, so these are the different um, headings, right? So we have the simplification, categorization, the data standardization, and the rest of that. But let's look at um, practical examples. Now, let's explore how the reclassification can be applied in both um, LULC and DEM, right? With that um, land use and land cover and digital emission model. However, on today's tutorial, since our interest is on them, let's just come down to number two. Now, for simplification, Dems are often represent or dems often represent continuous elevation values, which can be complex to interpret. Reclassifying elevation ranges into categories such as low, medium, and high terrain simplifies the data for visualization and analysis. Right now, you can see that uh, we have continuous data from 174 to maybe 1213. We can do well by Changing the symbology, let's make this equal intervals, and then I will rather have it as three classes. Then for the low, let's say we use green, right? Then for the medium, I will use blue, the very thick blue. Then for the eye, let's use red, right? Good. So we have just done um we have just added um, three classes here where we have um green blue and red right good so we can just um, apply and okay now if you look closely the color ramp does not really represent what the continuous data very well based on the three classes that we have chosen right good so we have just changed the symbology to go in line with what the three classes we just read, which is what the low, medium, and high terrain, right? Good. So this is not the simplification that um, reclassifying raster does, right? Good. So we have just done that based on the symbology. Now for the categorization, we classifying them into slope categories, flat, gentle, moderate, steep terrains or tip slope rather is useful for terrain analysis and landform characterization similarly we have the lulc right good so this is how you can also maybe reclassify your raster maybe if you have what your um, land use land cover data so let's come back to qgis i will change this thing back to um, a default color ramp. let me make it about five classes and then let me click on OK. Good. So first off, we come to Rasta, then we go to the Rasta calculator. Now, um, in the Rasta calculator, we are going to write um, a few expressions, right? Good, which we would now use to reclassify a digital elevation model into three classes of what. The three classes we are considering on today's tutorial will be um, low, medium, and high terrain, right? Good. So we have an expression for the um, raster calculator we want to use on today's tutorial. So seeing a um, range of values, the range of elevation values from 174 meters to about 1.2 kilometers, 
we want to reclassify our digital elevation model into three classes, right? Now, the first class will be for elevation values that are less than 200. The next class will be elevation values greater than 200 and less than or equal to 500. Then the final class will be those elevation values that are what, that are greater than 500. Now, this uh, expression is actually very simple. Now, what does this DEM layer represent? This DEM layer represents what the digital elevation model layer we have on our on our layers panel here, right? Good. So, what we are going to do is very simple. You can see the raster bands, right? Good. Now, these raster bands represent the um, rasters you have on your layers panel. So, if you want to use them on your um, raster calculator expression, you just double click to add them, right? Good. So, and they are always what in quotes, right? So, instead of having your DEM layer, maybe the DEM layer, yeah, I can rightly replace them with what the raster band we have there, right? Good, which is the actual um, digital elevation model. So, we still come up here. Good. So, we have actually replaced that um, placeholder with the actual and um, digital elevation model so we have as we said earlier the elevation we are looking out for elevation values that are less than you know, 200 that will now have the first class that one you can see here then the elevation values that are greater than 200 and less than or equal to 500 will be represented by two which is the second class then we have what the elevation values that are greater than what 500 to be represented by a third class, which is what three, right? Good. So now let's um, look out for the output layer. So let's call this um, reclassify, right? Good. So we have a uh, reclassified them. Then the output format, let's leave it as um, the default GOT. Good. So let's um, leave the CRS as um, the geographic CRS we have here, which is um, WGS right? Good. So I haven't fixed all of these, we can click on OK. Good, so we have what are reclassified them. Reason why you can see this place blending, or maybe this portion blending with what the screen is because from the color ramp, it is being represented from using the black and white, right? Good, so it is going from the black down to the white or up to the white. So let's change this to a better symbology so we have a um, single band to look for equal intervals and then label precision i would leave it at um, zero then my classes i would still want to have it at three which has been reclassified then now i can change one to be green two to be yellowish and then three to be red, right? Because I believe that actually represents the three classes that we defined earlier, right? Good. So um, less than 200, greater than 200, but equal to or less than 500, and then greater than 500, right? Good. So let's click on apply. And then okay. we have something like this, right? Good. So with this reclassification, we can see that this portion of our digital elevation model has elevation values that are greater than 500. Good. So you now see that um, your reddish area, as we have said earlier, are having elevation values that are greater than 500. Then your yellowish area having elevation values ranging from 200 to 500 right good because um greater than 200 equal to or less than 500 right good then the green which is very small based on the dem we have here are uh, elevation values that are what less than 200 are we together good so this is um, a very simple and um, exhaustive demonstration on how to reclassify what your digital elevation model which
can be applied to any other rasta you have, um, maybe land use land cover, maybe soil type or whatever data that um, you have, right? So if we try to open up this other one that um, has the continuous data from 174, the continuous elevation from 174 to 1215, we can see how the um, the color ramp of the original data was shows or we can visualize the color ramp um, of the original data right good then we can also compare it to the reclassified data from here we can see that we have very smaller portion of what elevation values that are ranging from maybe zero to 200 because we have um, 200 and then less than 200 right good so then we have a um, more areas that their elevations are between 200 to what to 500 and then followed by those um, values that are having elevation values that are greater than 500 so this map gives you a better representation if we come back to our notes and then we look out for the different headings we have simplification we can now see that we have what the low medium and high which we can also use to, uh, to change those um, 200 less than or greater than 200, 500, and maybe greater than 500, right? Good. Then categorization, we're classifying them maybe into slope categories, which is not what we have done. The analysis requirement and the visualization, right? Good. So it's reclassified them so are visually impactful for terrain visualization and understanding landscape features, right? Good. So we can now see that we have larger landscape that has elevations that are from 200 to 500. So thanks for coming to class. We open. We have shown you how to carry out the raster reclassification of treasures. We are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.